Top 15 startups in the Nordics and Baltics. Spotify acquiring a blockchain company. A Swedish gaming founder investing into a musical startup. And Index eyeing the Nordics as the key market for them. This and much more in this week's episode of 3 Minute Friday. With me, Dmitry Sarla. First up is the top 15 companies that we selected for the Microsoft pitching competition at Arctic 15. What is most interesting about this is the fact that a lot of these companies deal with AI or chatbots. One out of four companies, in fact, that applied to the pitching competition are now focusing on those technologies. But these are not the only ones. We also have education, fintech and much more. Overall, RD15 is just next week and that is our main focus for the whole team. We already have 3,500 meetings that have been requested by attendees and there's going to be much more. So if you still don't have a ticket, here's your last chance to get one. Here. Overall, Nordics and Baltics are doing extremely well. Sweden and Denmark are ranked in top 18 countries with the most millionaires according to Credit Suisse and Business Insider report. A lot of those millionaires come from startups, which is good news because not only do we have a lot of exits in the region, we also have a lot of millionaires, which makes sense. Lithuania, on the other hand, is now ahead of the other two Baltic countries when it comes to being the most favorable country to do business in. And they are ranked in top 30 in the whole world, which is a great achievement for a small country out of the Baltics. And that means Estonia and Latvia have to catch up. From Denmark we have great news because Index Venture made a partnership with Founders House, Mesh and Startup Village in order to make them their eyes in the Nordics. And Index Ventures is one of the most well-known and respected venture funds in the world. And now they're selecting Nordics as one of their most important markets. Spotify out of Sweden is buying a company in New York. The company previously raised a little bit over $1 million, so we're wondering what the valuation is. But the interesting thing is that it is a blockchain company which traces any sort of creation and content to its original founder. For instance, if you have a GIF, you will know who has created that GIF and how has it been spread around the internet. We only can assume that this will be used for music on Spotify and you will finally know who was the creator and every time you click play anywhere, the one who created the music will get paid. Next up, also from Sweden, is Fredrik Wester, who is the founder of Paradox, a gaming company behind titles such as Cities in Motion and Cities in Motion 2. Love the game, by the way. Fredrik invested over 1 million euros into a company called Epidemic Sound, which is basically a company that allows to license music and sound for anybody. For instance, if you're making videos or production or games for that matter, that you can take music and use it in your games or your videos. Their innovation is in the business model. For instance, you can buy music by the second or by the minute from the service. You can also use YouTube to completely integrate what you're doing with their service. And that's pretty cool. In the Baltics, we also have some news, but they're not particularly related to one startup or one company. For instance, UN recognized the Estonian e-residency program, which allows anybody to become an e-resident of Estonia, open a bank account and a company there. And they want to make it a global phenomenon and now are starting negotiations on how to make that happen. As Lithuania is ahead of the other two Baltic states when it comes to having a favorable business environment, there are also some good news there as well. And for instance, in Lithuania, you can see everything that's happening in the country by going to the login conference, which is taking place on the 24th to 26th of May. We're definitely going to be there and hopefully you will be too. And that's it for this week. Hopefully we'll see you next week. We're going to be doing the 3 Minute Friday directly from Arctic 15. And I hope that a lot of companies have been saving up a lot of the news for the event. So the next two weeks, we expect to have quite a lot of news for you and see you at the event. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Let us know what you think about this episode. Thank you, Evely, for continuing to support these episodes. And see you next week. Ta-ta.